Okay, it's time. It's six o'clock, and Perfect. you can see on my alarm that uh, it's six o'clock uh, Central Europe summer time. It must be five o'clock in London. Uh, I think that's right. In Dubai, it must be eight or nine. I. Think. Suppose eight. Okay, <laughs> two hours with Dubai. Okay, and different country. You joined from different country. And thank you for being here. Uh, we will begin on time this seminar. And uh, first of all, I, I will ask to my colleague to to introduce uh, uh, to introduce themselves. Uh, please, uh, Professor Cecile Clergeau, can you can you take the floor? Okay, so. Good, uh, good evening, everybody. I am uh, Professor Cecile Clergeau. I'm a professor in management science in University of Nantes. And uh, my, most of my research is uh, devoted to tourism management, uh, and especially in strategy, strategy for companies, and also destination management uh, strategies. Thank you, uh, Cecile. Thank you, Professor uh, Clergeau. Professor Karl Menzer, uh, Andreas, uh, please, can you introduce yourself? Thank you, uh, Michel. Next to my interest in, in the European Championships of Football, I am normally um, a um, professor of entrepreneurship and management at Exelia Business School in uh, La Rochelle. As you know, the DBA is um, I'm developing this program together with the Exelia Business School. Uh, my job here is the academic coordination, so basically the setup of classes, the setup of professors together with the help of um, Michel and, and, and Cécile. Um, I am, as you might either hear in my accent or guess from my name, I'm not French, I'm um, a German citizen. I have um, all my education, master, PhD, etc., in management from the University of Innsbruck in Austria, but I'm enjoying to work um, in um, France and um, my specialization is, you might have guessed it, tourism um, so a lot of the um, entrepreneurship and management subjects applied to tourism. Thank you very much, Andreas, for joining us and for being here uh, tonight to, to introduce this partnership between uh, Business Science Institute and, uh, and Excelia. Uh, my name is Michel, Michel Kalika. I am Emeritus Professor. My field of teaching is mainly a strategy in executive education. And I had different position in different university, mainly in France. And since a few years now, uh, we created the Business Science Institute, uh, which is a, a specific organization that, uh, that manage a DBA program that we will uh, present uh, now. And uh, maybe first of all, uh, Frédéric, you take the floor for some uh, technical issue. Thank you, Frédéric, for yes. organizing everything. Thank you very much. So good evening to all of you. Uh, just a few technical points before we start. Um, the microphones are switched off. So if you want to ask questions, please use the Q&A question button. And we will answer the questions as we go along or maybe at the end of the presentation and the presentation is recorded. So we will be able to send you all the video and recording by the end of the webinar. Have a good webinar. Thank you. Thank you, Frédéric. We record the video so the, so the people that couldn't join us uh, because of traffic problem or jet lag problem, they, couldn't, they, could, they can have a look on the, on the video and so know the content of, of the program. Uh, the agenda of this uh, webinar we, that will last uh, 45 minutes uh, will be presentation of Excelia, Business Science Institute, uh, then some word about the DBA program, and we will explain this DBA program, and uh, we will uh, keep, we will give the main distinctive feature, and also, of course, the condition uh, uh, of access to the program, how to apply, and then we will be available uh, to answer all your questions. You must know also that if you have not the possibility, the opportunity to ask a question now, you can always send an email and we always answer to all the email at minimum in, in 24 hours. Okay, Andreas, uh, in a partnership, there, there are two schools and one of the schools is Excelia Business School. Excelia Business School, my, my home since um, two years now almost. Um, it has been around for a while and is, um, you, can, you can read it here, 1988, um, now with uh, three uh, campuses in La Rochelle, Tours and Orléans. 
it is um, very much growing. Um, I mean, that is also the reason why I'm there, because we're going more on a, um, with a regional basis, yet on an international um, level. We have um, different, different um, specialities. One is the classic business school, the kind of the main part, but then also this, these specializations on tourism and hospitality, but also um, a digital school and, and, and further, further ones. And meaning that we are going on an international level also means that we are um, going for international accreditations. And um, by last summer, we've now reached the you know, famous um, ASCSB Equis AMBA, so-called triple crown accreditation, which basically lists us among the top business schools worldwide, if you want to put it that way. Um, in France, I would probably guess maybe five to 10 schools have that, mm. uh, but I don't know the numbers there. That would be just yeah. my rough guess. I guess, and we are also growing with uh, within the school. Um, so I don't even know if the 4,000, uh, 6,000, uh, 4,600 students is the current number. I think we're going up. Of course, also um, things are changing a little bit because of COVID. So we are at the moment running a lot more, lot more classes um, online than offline. By the way, this will be also the case, at least for the start in the DBA a program. That's the idea that we have in mind so that everybody can participate. And um, so, yeah, a growing um, a business school with um, regional background and international reach. Andreas, you, you, your school is also, and that's quite exceptional, uh, accredited, uh, TED call accredited, and, and it's an accreditation uh, in the field of tourism. And not a lot of mm -hmm. school uh, get this accreditation. Yeah, I think actually this is one that there's even less uh, um, um, schools in France in general. The trend for tourism schools is going, no, there aren't as many tourism schools as you might uh, guess. I mean, there are quite some in the US, there are quite some in Australia, in, in Asia Pacific region, absolutely. But within Europe, there aren't as many um, high level um, uh, tourism, uh, tourism institutions and um, Exile is one of them. Okay, congratulations. Okay, now some word about the Business Science Institute. Business Science Institute is an academic international network organization uh, created a few years ago in 2013. And uh, it's quite a unique organization because we have a, a unique program. Uh, we have only one program, an executive DBA for manager. Because we are a network, we have uh, more than 100 uh, professors from all over the, the world with one teaching in one program. And we teach both online and face-to-face. -face. And we teach in English, we teach in French, we also teach in, uh, in German. And when we are face-to-face, -face, uh, we have group in Asia, in Europe, in Africa, and also, of course, in Europe in the different uh, languages. Um, we have by now around 200 uh, executive DBA students. All of them are manager. The average age is 45, 46. Um, 80, 80 thesis uh, have been defended uh, in front of international uh, jury. And that's an important point. Uh, we are one of the DBA AMBA accredited. Uh, there is not a lot of DBA accredited by AMBA in, in the world. It's around 11 only. And um, we have been uh, ranked at the fourth rank by the Dubai DBA ranking in 2020. That's uh, some word about the Business Science Institute. Uh, why we created uh, why we created its specialization and why we created this DBA and why a specialization uh, in tourism and hospitality? On one side, uh, we know that uh, there is an offer from PhD and doctoral program. On the other side, there is a, a demand, a demand from high potential managers. Uh, which have the, the experience, the knowledge of the field of tourism and hospitality. And uh, they, this manager, they want to, to, go, to go ahead after the MBA program. And, uh, and uh, the offer of traditional program is not adapted. That's why we created this uh, 
a few years ago, Business Science Institute with the executive DBA. And that's why we create now a specialization in tourism and, uh, and hospitality. Uh, Cecile, uh, maybe you can highlight the fact that there is a, there is a demand uh, in, the, in the sector. Yeah, there is a demand in the sector, uh, a demand for a specific, uh, uh, specific program because tourism is not like uh, other products. It's a service, there is a, a production and uh, between the, the tourist and the company. So it's very specific, it is service management. And uh, more nowadays with the COVID crisis, uh, tourism, uh, face many, many challenges. And uh, so uh, a lot of managers um, want to, 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 to have a very specific uh, reflection about that and uh, to, to, to make a, a step behind or ahead in order to, to, to have a good analysis of the situation, which is a great challenge for managers and for companies and for destination also. Okay, so thank you, Cecile. Andreas, we have the opportunity, thanks to our partnership, to, to integrate in the program a, a rich panel of faculty, of international faculty. That's right. Um, kind, of, kind of my job together, as I said, with, the, with your guys' network, um, we've managed to get, um, yeah, to have a nice panel of um, uh, professors from all fields of um, uh, innovation, digitalization, entrepreneurship, human resource management, finance, marketing, together that um, that will be interested in, and willing to uh, to teach on their subjects and with regards to the tourism field. And um, we have colleagues um, from naturally um, France, Germany, Austria, um, Great Britain, and, Canada. Um, Canada, that is absolutely right. Um, together, that are looking forward to to teach. Yeah, it's it's really a strength to to have a network uh, that uh, that can teach in the program because it means that uh, uh, for each subject of a DBA students we we can have an answer we can have uh, we can identify a, a supervisor and as we know as we all know uh, in a DBA program the supervisor are, are very impro important. Mm -hmm. Michel, we have um I think let's let's maybe add to that we have a question that we yeah. can easily answer. Um, if we have, I, I can answer it for Excel and you can answer it for um, BSI. Do you have or plan to apply for a US North American accreditation such as CHEA? What I can say for um, Excelia, the Triple Crown accreditation, um, ASCSB is a US American um, accreditation. It's actually the most important one. Absolutely. Uh, on the, so you answer uh, for, Excelia. for Excelia, for, um, for Business Science Institute, uh, we, we apply first for the AMBA accreditation. We are working now on the EFMD accreditation uh, DBA program, and we are eligible for this uh, second accreditation. And after, we will think about American accreditation. But uh, as you know, when you when you have one international accreditation, it's uh, it's very important and it's it's an indication of the quality of the program. Thank you and for also, your question. And, and also, don't forget that the TEDQUAL is an accreditation that is given by uh, the World Tourism Organization, so it's recognized everywhere in the world. Absolutely right. That's. Yeah. Andreas, can you please uh, uh, present the organization of the program? Yeah, I mean, I kind of already outlined, outlined it, but I can um, definitely repeat it. Um, we have after, um, not after, but at the beginning, this September, mid-September, uh, the, 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 the setup, the first um, seminar, um, Thursday, Friday, um, Saturday, online, um, where we are introducing you the 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 DBA program and, and how to manage a, an executive um, DBA thesis. We will have some supervisors presenting um, their work quickly that you, where you can kind of see a potential fit for you as applicants. Um, and then we have four seminars um, each second month, again, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, depending on how everything evolves with uh, Corona, probably for the first year, everything will be online. If not, it will be on site in, um, in uh, Paris. And these are specializations in the tourism and hospitality field, as I already said, 
digitalization, innovation, entrepreneurship, HR, management, and um, so on. And then as a, um, a DBA thesis is always research-based, um, we also in, um, introduce you to um, qualitative and quantitative research, something that I would have loved in my PhD program, but I didn't have somebody guiding me and showing me how it's done, potentially um, showing you which softwares to use. And um, so, you know, to prepare you with a, with a, with a full rounded uh, content and method related um, setup. Afterwards, um, the, the, the step is to get kind of this is, um, cert certificate of research on your proposal and then follow up seminars where you can, you know, get together with your colleagues, get together with your supervisors, um, get together with, um, with the BSI faculty towards your um, DBA that can be, must be finished within four years, can be finished within three years. Yeah, uh, the average uh, the average length of the DBA is three and a half year. For AMBA, the length, the formal length is four years. But we know that some students, they will present their thesis uh, at the end of the three years. So it will vary. Uh, it, we will have some uh, difference between uh, between the different students. And uh, we, maybe we, we, can, uh, we can highlight the fact that in, in the curriculum, uh, in the curriculum, Cecile, what is uh, the, the objective of the first year are very, very important. Yeah, during the first year, you will start your research, but uh, you have to know more about management science. So you, during the seminars, you will uh, learn a lot about management science, theories, authors, research methodology, and so on. So first, you have knowledge acquisition in, uh, in management science, which is very important. And uh, you will, will have a good contact with your uh, supervisor, your teachers, all the people that participate in seminars. So you understand more and more what is uh, the DBA thesis. And uh, during the seminar, you will meet some, some professors and you will meet them. And uh, probably you, will can, you can discuss with them about your uh, research objective, your own research objective, that probably an, an issue that is interesting for you. And then you can meet the teachers and meet the professors and discuss with them and try to have a, a, a more accurate definition of your uh, DBA thesis topic. And uh, once you have done that, when you have chosen a supervisor, you, you can start and uh, you can start your literature review and you can take time to know more about the issue you have chosen with the supervisor. So this first year is very important because you acquire knowledge and you work with your supervisor in order to define your topic, the topic of the research. So you will meet professors, you discuss with them, uh, you, 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 you choose the, the professor with, with whom you, you, you share some common interest about your research. This is very important during the first year because at the end of the year, you should have find the topic and the supervisor and then you start the research. During the second year, what we call step two, uh, Andreas, uh, the, the, the main issue are about uh, the follow-up, the seminar uh, follow-up and so on. Well, um, without, without starting a monologue now, I'm going a couple of years back when I did my own PhD, I had two problems. Or when I, I was doing the PhD at the university naturally because I was planning this academic career. But anyways, that's why it's the same. I had two troubles. One was finding a good supervisor and second, be in touch with others because other, often you're, you know, you're just by yourself and you feel kind of you're lost. I think this is where we have a good setup in this program. That means right from the start on, right from the first, very first day of the seminar, you get in touch with potential supervisors. Um, and then afterwards it's mandatory. I'm currently supervising a student. Each month we are speaking, which is something that again, helps you very much um, being on the right path and, you know, not leaving this right path, first of all. Second, these follow seminars that we are holding um, will enable you to be together physically or depending on Corona, at least online physically. But I believe in the in second or third year, we will be talking about a physical um, 
physical presence um, again, so we can actually create connections, a network, not only to professors, but also to your fellow colleagues um, that are studying the same with you. And you can exchange ideas and, um, and, 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 and setups. You have the guidance then by your supervisor, but also, and I think this is something that we all know from our own former studies from your colleagues, because they will tell you, hey, this is what you will have to look at. Um, make sure that the framework looks like that. Make sure that you collect the data like this. And, and so, yeah, you have a good support system here. Thank you. You, you are right, um, Andreas. Uh, the choice of the supervisor is the main issue in a doctoral program. Uh, absolutely, we, we know that. And that's, what, that's one of our strengths in the program because we, have a, we are a network and we have an international network of faculty. We, we are able to, to answer all the demand of, of the students in terms of uh, of follow-up and supervising the, the thesis. Uh, step three, uh, we have uh, the monthly follow-up uh, by the thesis supervisor, follow-up seminar, of course, writing of the thesis. We mentioned before that you can write your thesis in your language, English, German, French. Uh, and then we have a, a strict process with a pre-defense, agreement of the supervisor, feedback of the follow-up committee and feedback also uh, from two external supervisor before, before the defense. And the defense of the thesis is, uh, is organized uh, the last uh, week of September each year. We all meet in September in a, in a castle that belongs to the, to the city hall of a, a small town, which name is Vils. And during the last week of September, we all meet there. When I say that we all meet there, it was before the COVID crisis, of course. And I must say that I don't know how we will organize this year. We will say to the students that... Uh, we will try to organize it face to face, but we are not sure to be able to do it before because of travel restriction. And so maybe this year again, we will organize uh, the defense, the graduation, the conferences. Maybe we will uh, be obliged to organize uh, them, uh, uh, to organize them online. Okay, the faculty. Who would like to talk about the faculty, Cecile? Oh, just to, to say that um, um, there are many, many uh, of our colleagues which are uh, specialized in tourism management that are very happy to participate in this program. You know, I created a French association in tourism management, which is a, a network uh, with uh, many researchers. So we can mobilize colleagues. And uh, so you can see some, uh, some the, the, the name of some of them. So they come from Excelia. Uh, a lot of uh, one big part of the team uh, is uh, teaches and uh, is in Excelia. But you also have uh, some uh, some professors from University of Perpignan, from U University of Montreal in Canada, from University of La Sorbonne in Paris, University of Nantes also. And uh, I, I have to say that. Uh, Many of them have uh, some uh, um, uh, have some uh, specialties. You know, some of them work on, uh, for instance, the performance of uh, destinations. Some of them work on uh, gastronomy. Some of them work on uh, hospitality. Some of them work on uh, culture. Some of them work on uh, leisure. Some of them work on uh, human resource management in uh, innovation, in uh, entrepreneurship. And so uh, we can, you, you can, if you have one issue which is very important for you, we can say, okay, go to see this colleague. He is very specialized and it will answer your questions. That is very important that you understand that the network is very important. So you will meet the right person in order to supervise your research. Thank you, Cecile. Andreas, on the side of Excelia and uh, with your personal network yeah. of tourism. I think I already said it a couple of slides ago, um, international network. We have some um, of the main professors from Excelia in there, um, but also, as you can see, guess with the names, for example, um, Sascha Kraus, who is, a, who is one of the top 10 um, business um, researchers in Germany, actually working for the University of Bolzano in Italy, um, and then colleagues from Innsbruck, um, colleagues from um, Southampton University um, from the UK, for example. And um, yeah, 
for the colleagues from from Germany, etc. Like I already said. Okay, what are the main distinctive feature of this uh, DBA? Uh, what do you want to highlight? <laughs> Probably it's a true, true DBA for managers, which means that uh, uh, it's uh, it's um, it, it's it, the the time for manager when they can do research, which is very different from a PhD. You know, the DBA is especially for managers, for those managers that want to take a step back and uh, develop their analyze the analysis capacity and uh, develop their knowledge and have an issue that they want to investigate in depth. This is very important. And uh, this is one distinctive feature of our DBA. It's, it's research, it's research for managers. So the manager create new knowledge and probably a knowledge that will help uh, other managers also. Uh, also, uh, just to say that, uh, as you can see, we have an important uh, team of uh, professors. They are excellent professors. They are very happy to participate in that program, which means that they will be very available for you. They will answer your question. You will have a, a, um, an important uh, follow-up what you do, you will meet them very, very, very well, one a month at least, at least. And uh, you can, uh, if if your research is interesting, and if you if you have done a very interesting research that can help other manager that participate in the creation of knowledge, you can uh, write a book, and uh, we have a system of publication, so you can you can write a book and uh, which is a very important and uh, recognition of your work. I think it's very important and this gives value to your research. Andreas, so some, some yeah, would... they, they publish also articles. Uh, Absol with, uh... Absolutely. Um, I think a, a unique thing in this um, pro um, offer is that it's definitely something that doesn't set you under a um, time and pressure like a PhD does, which means you can do nothing else but your PhD, but it allows you to pursue your work next to it. And at the same time, we have, we offer, I don't want to say we, we challenge you on quality, but we offer quality um, mm -hmm. that is, um, that I believe is very helpful for, you know, the, 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 the power of this DBA in the end, then you can, you can um, say, you know what, I have, I have an idea of research. I can, um, if I want to publish articles, in international renowned um, journals. I am following a rigorous research standards because we have the classes for that that will teach you the main, the main, um, the main, the main requirements. So I would say that this DBA offers a unique combination for practical impact, but based on a rigorous um, setup. Yeah. yeah, that's a characteristic of the DBA to have an academic impact that's possible, same to the supervision of uh, the professor and to have a managerial impact. The ambition of the DBA is to create knowledge uh, through the experience and through the thanks to the support of the, the faculty. Um, in the main distinctive feature, there is one point that is very important for us. It is responsiveness and uh, we can say quite an excellent service quality because you are a manager, uh, because you are uh, everywhere in the world. For us, we consider that responsiveness is a critical issue, is very important. And if we don't answer, you can consider that we are dead. There is a technical problem. So you, I can guarantee that the team, the professor, but also all the support team will be available to answer your question, to be with you and to support you and to make you uh, defend your thesis. You know, we are one of the DBA program with a very high success rate. And it's not because uh, we are not exigent in terms of, uh, of quality, but it's because our support is quite exceptional. 
Uh, as uh, Cecile, uh, Professor Clerjo said, uh, we publish uh, books. Uh, that's important. It means that the professor indicate clearly what they expect. How to successfully complete your DBA? What are the research methods for DBA? What is a, a project, a thesis project? How to manage it? Um, we we produce books that will help you, um, and uh, you you will be you through this book you will know what we expect from you. And I give you also one example of uh, a book published by, uh, by one of our doctor. Uh, today, uh, we have published around 28 books and we have, I think, four or five that will uh, uh, be published in, in September. We created, because we focus also on managerial impact, we created a DBA managerial impact award to reward every year the most impacting DBA thesis. And we know that uh, AMBA is, uh, is preparing quite the same kind of award at the international level. It means that the DBA, it's research with managerial impact and also, of course, with academic impact, because in a DBA, it's a doctoral, it's a, there is a thesis and a thesis is related to a doctoral program. Are you, uh, are you a suitable candidate for the DBA program? Cecile, please. Uh -huh. Probably if you participate uh, in this webinar, you are a good candidate. You, you have uh, enough motivation uh, in order to participate to, uh, to this program. Uh, there are some condition of access to the DBA. You, you should have an MBA or master's degree in economics in management, uh, in uh, tourism management, hospitality management, and so on. And uh, at least five years of work experience in management position. Um, please don't forget that uh, if you don't have a master degree, but you have more than five years of experience in management, we can try to have the equivalent. For instance, if you have 10 years work experience in management position in tourism or hospitality, we can find some agreement in order to validate your experience and to have this kind of equivalent of a master degree. What is important is your motivation. Mm. If, you, if, you, if you like to read, if you like, to, if you like reading, if you like analyzing, if you like uh, acquiring new knowledge, if you're curious, if you want to know more about tourism, if you want to take a step back uh, on your experience, on your job, your, on your industry, uh, then the DBA is for you. There is no, no doubt about this. And the process is a, it's an online process. Of course, you send your CV to the address. Uh, uh, the address is on our, on our website, CV at business. Uh, uh, scienceinstitute.com and then we will uh, we will tell you go or don't go depending on your cv and then you will complete online your application you will have a formal interview quite rapidly we are able to manage the interview in one or two weeks generally and you have the answer quite quickly uh, it's a decision of our scientific committee uh, based on the point of view of uh, of the professor that will manage the, the interview. So our process is simple, accessible, but it is of course a rigorous process because we are a, an accredited program. Maybe you have uh, any, any other question? You have here a photo uh, from uh, the Wilts Castle uh, where we hope to be in September, but uh, we are not sure. So some question. Uh, I receive a question on my email. Uh, uh, when the supervisor is identified? Uh, of course, uh, who, who would like to answer to that question? <laughs> when the supervisor is identified? I can say during the first year, but it, it will depend. Sometime it is during the first seminar and sometime it is later, depending on, on the subject, depending on the students. You will, you will meet some, uh, some professors during the seminars and uh, you have to 
ask them questions about the issue that interests you. And uh, if uh, this professor doesn't feel comfortable with this issue or this topic, probably will say, okay, I can, I suggest to meet another professor. And then you, you meet different professors. And at the end, probably one month, three months, we don't know, one month or three months, we don't know, you know, you will meet the good supervisor. And um, I think this process will take from uh, one month to three or four months. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the four months, you will have the supervisor and the topic. It's sure, sure. There is another question. Uh, should applicants to the program already have a specific idea for the thesis before applying? No. Uh, you know, uh, the aim of the first year is to, to specify the, 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 the thesis, uh, the subject, uh, the specific topic of your thesis. But generally speaking, when the, the students, when they enter the program, when they apply, they have an idea of what they would like to work on. But it's not mandatory. But in the application, you must, uh, you must present a research project and for us, it's quite important to be sure that you have an interest for the field of tourism and hospitality. For us, it is important to identify uh, the fact that you will be able to, to have access to data in, uh, in, in the sector. So I will say that it is better if you have an idea about your research topic. I think you just but named a... You named a Sorry, I think you just named a key point, Michelle, that is, that is important. Um, I would let myself definitely guide from the, in, the input that you get from the professors that you meet, because it is a kind of a, a little bit of a three-year marriage that you're going with your supervisor, so you might as well choose it wisely. Um, but on the other hand, uh, like Michelle said very importantly, it is a question of data. I've seen many, many people with great ideas, with mm -hmm. great concepts, but they never finished, I can always, only always speak from my experience, the PhD, they never finished it because they didn't have access to good data. So of course, and you have this uh, practical experience, if you are coming in with, to this PhD and you have data availability through your work, through your experience, that is of course a big plus for yourself. But this doesn't mean that you already need to define your, um, your topic. So it can be a match of what you have available and what is available for you. Mm -hmm. You no, know, please give value to your experience. You know, during your work experience, you have met people, you have met challenges, you have met situations. And uh, probably if you want to, to, to participate in this program, you have in mind something, you know, or you already know if you are interested in human resource management or if you're interested in strategy or if you're interested in marketing or in innovation in or entrepreneurship, probably you have an idea about that. But you are sure that this idea is, I must say, not very precise. It's a, a wide topic, but you don't know exactly precisely what you want to investigate. This is the work you will do with your supervisor. You know, sometimes some some students arrive and with a, a very precise idea and they, arrive, they realize that it is impossible to do the research because of data, for instance, I said. Uh, so uh, so your, your topic and your, the definition of the topic will change with your supervisor. You know, you will, pre, you will give, give more precision to, to this, but please give value to your experience. You have experience. You mm -hmm. have a very rich experience. So you have to give value to that. We have um, two more. We have another question from our colleague. It sounds like a Greek name, um, um, Fivos Ioannidis. Thank you for your question. Um, how much time do we need to be physically present at the school slash institute? And two, what are the related um, fees? Um, for the first question, um, as, as, as we said, the plan is um, for the first year, which is kind of the organized year, three days in September, three days in November, three days in January, three days in, I believe, March and three days in June. I think that's what it basically is. However, we are definitely planning. I think this is something that, Michelle, that we, that we already decided. We are planning the September date 
online that is sure for the for the for the each second month meetings at the moment to to have kind of a planning um, possibility we are also planning um, online however we might be able to offer it present and I think Michelle also made a good suggestion there we could make it uh, in a in a hybrid format so you know it might not be possible for each and, and everyone from different countries let's say from Dubai um, not that it isn't possible to travel but as you know that's also something that we are facing in the first year we probably will not be a huge pool of uh, students but a rather small group we're probably very flexible in our onset of um, of the of the different dates. Michelle, if that's correct, yeah, what I said. Yeah, you are you are absolutely right, Andreas. At the beginning, of course, in September, even if we are in Paris, I think that the the, the faculty and the main part of the student they will be online. And uh, in the, in the future, we will organize a program in a hybrid and blended way. It means that some some student they will be able to to travel to Paris or to be in Europe, and uh, for three days uh, during two months they will be able to to come but for those who will not be able to come it will be it will be organized and managed on a hybrid way on an online way you must know that uh, 40 percent of our stu dbs students they work online and not in face-to-face -face group it means that we have three now three years or four years the experience of uh, uh, managing the DBA program on an online basis. Initially, initially, when we have been working on the program, in our mind, it was a face-to-face -face program. But because of the COVID price crisis, uh, the program will become an hybrid program. And of course, you, you will be able to, to attend uh, from distance uh, position. Uh, about the second point, uh, what, what are the fields? You know, as faculty, we never talk about money, but I will give the information uh, which is available on the website. The cost for the four years is uh, 25 kilo euro for all the registration to the two school and for all the courses and, and so on. Another, another question? I think that's it. Another last question question. I, I receive another question. I don't know why I receive a question on my email. Uh, I have another question on my email. Uh, let, let, let me check, excuse me, uh, which is, uh, can, can, we, can we study, uh, it makes sense, can we study the the relationship between tourism and religion. Yes. Is it is it uh, is it possible uh, to to prepare a thesis in in, in that field? I, I used I used to supervise uh, a thesis that was uh, written by um, a woman who lived in the Maldives, and you know that in Maldives uh, there is a lot of issues uh, about religion, so. And I must say that there is literature and research. Even a journal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's even a journal on that. As mm -hmm. in, I think it's some religious tourism or rich pilgrimage tourism or something. There's even a journal on that topic. Yeah, like yeah. A whole, like a whole, a whole journal. There is an important literature about that. And uh, more and more um, companies, researchers, academics and professionals uh, want to have this kind of analysis because they know it is an important issue. So yes, you can work on that. Yes. Basically, um, that's a great thing about um, tourism. It is a so-called uh, cross-sectional um, field of research. That means it basically touches all the fields. So we have the classic, as I said earlier, management fields, but we also have um, culture-related topics, um, mm -hmm. language-related topics, um, question of um, male, female, so gender-related topics. Gender, yes. There's quite a quite a broad, um, um, yeah, a broad field of research fields. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So the answer is yes, and uh, more generally, I will say that uh, we are a very open mind in terms of subject. We have not strict definition of what is the subject of a thesis. Yeah, uh, the, and, and 
Andreas? Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm, no. oh, I'm just, you know, spinning the wheel. I think from the list of um, supervisors that we have at the moment, I mean, Cecile is one. If she is supervised, she can right, right away do it. But even if we don't have one in our list, um, I know people that do this kind of research. You can always still reach out to these people, invite them to become potential supervising faculty yeah. if everything yeah. fits. So mm -hmm. it's a good example to say that that's, I mean, that's something that I had to learn also from Michelle, Michelle that it's a network um, institution that basically allows, um, you know, us also to reach out for potential people that might be a fit for yourself. Yeah, um, yes, indeed. It is, it is the strength of the network. We are able, we are able to answer to a, a large spectrum of subject. So uh, I think that we, we hear my alarm. You need to change your alarm, Michelle. Is this the is this the alarm you wake up every morning? To? Yes, <laughs> yes. Absolutely. That's so hard. <laughs> and, and so you know, I'm sure to I'm sure to to wake to wake uh, up uh, and to begin to work. So, uh, but for you, I will change my alarm in the next. Uh, I'm just in, kidding. I'm just the kidding. next webinar. Thank you, thank you to to all of us, to all of you. Thank you to my colleagues. Thank you, Cecil, thank you, Michelle, thank you, Andreas. Uh, thank you, thank Cecil. you to the participants. Thank you also uh, to Frederic for organizing uh, uh, this uh, webinar. Uh, you will receive the recording of this webinar, and of course, we are we are available to answer all your questions. Yeah, yeah. if you have more questions, do not hesitate to write us. We will answer you. Okay. Bye-bye. 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 And keep safe.